Hey guys, this is Vimal here. Welcome to TRHD. Today I'm gonna show you how to make a simple robo car in less than 30 minutes. So I, uh, why I wanted to make this video is I've seen many people uploading same similar kind of robots on YouTube but they are doing it so complicated using bunches of wires like dozen or something and I've seen people even using ICs in such simple cars. I wanted to make this to say that you don't need such complicated things. I'll show you my robot using only two core shield wire which is very flexible and very simple. It'll have only two wires and the whole connection will be very easy to make. So let's proceed. Okay, let's see what components we need to make this robot. Okay, we'll be needing four DC motors of any RPM like 300 or 500 RPM. You'll be needing one chassis, which is a car body, and you'll be needing one remote control to place all the comp uh, to place the DPDT switches in it. And you'll be needing four wheels for the car, car to move. These are the DPDT switches, and you'll be needing two batteries. Nine volt batteries is enough. And you'll be needing the most important thing is a single two core shield wire. I'll be showing the assembly of this robot in a brief way and I'll provide you with the schematics, these two schematics which are the remote schematic and the motor connections. Following this you can make this robot car easily. You don't need to be a professional or an electronic engineer to make this, just follow my instructions and you'll make this robot in no time. I've seen many people making such robo cars using 10 to 20 wires from the remote to the car. You don't need that many wires. I'll just show you simply using this two core shield wire. It has only two wires. With this two core shield wire, you can control every function of the motor. The front movement, left movement, back movement, all the functions are controlled just using these two wires. Using this two core shield cable, you can attach even fancy items like front LEDs, back LEDs, you can even attach buzzers to your car. You can make it look more fancy than other people's. Okay, I'll show you the assembly of this car now. This is very simple, you don't need any complex tools to make this thing. You can just do it with your bare hands. You can put the motors over here like this and you can just go on. I'll show you the internal circuitry now. It is very simple. I won't be showing you the complete thing, I'll just show you the outlook of this. You can follow my schematic and you can proceed. I've shown you the general assembly of the car. I won't be showing you the soldering part because I've already made one previously assembled unit. This is my previously assembled unit. I'll be explaining the whole wiring using this because it will be very easy to see and understand. This is the chassis of the car that uh, you'll be needing to fix the motors and the tires. Now I'll be showing you the motor. These are the motors. These are 500 RPM motors which will be uh, where you'll be fixing the wheels of the car. I'll show you the motor wheels. So these are the wheels. You can see them, four wheels. You'll be requiring two batteries for that. You can use any two 9 volt batteries like this. These are normal general purpose batteries. You'll be needing two DPDT switches. You'll be uh, needing two DPDT switches which go in the remote controller box. The remote control box is this one. Here the two switches will come over and the wires will come from this one, this side. This is the shield wire guys. You can see this one is the shield. This one is wire 1. This one is wire 2. You can connect the whole robo car using only this wire. I'll show you the fixing of the motor to this car. You see it has a nut. You can just open the nut and keep it like this. And you can use this nut to hold this thing. This is how the car looks after fixing the motors. You can see all the four motors assembled. You can fix the tire to this motor using a screw given in this. You can just keep it like this and tighten the screw over here. All, all the four tires have been assembled. You can see here. You can see the wiring over here which I have already done in the previously assembled model. This is a shield wire. These two red wires and black wires you can see over here connected to the shield wire. What you see over here are extra items which go to the LED. I just put them for fancy look. This is the top look of my car. You can see there is only one single wire that is a shield wire which which you can control all the functions of the car. You can see this is the remote control which I have already assembled. You can see using the switches you can control the car. If you press this like this the car will go towards front. 
you can go back pressing this like this or you can take left and right turns as shown here this is the internal wiring of the remote two dpdt switches are over here you'll be needing two batteries this is the internal wiring the single shield wire coming out of it I've given, I've given all the details of this wiring in the schematic which you can follow easily. This is the schematic of the car unit. You can see I've connected all the motors uh, using only a two core shield wire. These are the four motors. These are the wheels attached to it. This dotted line is the car chassis. And I've given the component list also. Just have a look. This is the schematic of the remote unit. As you can see, these are two DPDT switches that I've used, connected to two 9 volt batteries. And again, I've used the same single shield wire, two core shield wire. This is the component list that you're going to require. Just have a look. Now I'll be showing you the movements of the car, how the car functions. Let's see. Now I'm going to take the car forward, reverse, take a right turn, left turn. You can even take car reverse left, reverse right. You can even make circles like this. Circle right, circle left. Thank you guys for watching my video. If you loved it, hit the thumbs up button below. And do subscribe to my channel. I'll be posting new videos soon. If you have anything to say, leave them in the comment box below.